In my end writing, I see the stairs of my fate. That house, so large, with its backyard full of chicken that die in cycles. The mellow plants, saddened in their beds, by no woods. And in, in each stanza of sitting, with this prospect before me, the single poem, and the last. The women drag out the afternoons through their lines. I, I, I can do without this. <laughs> the women drag out the afternoons through, the, through their lines, like memories burning in all of the nights of my life. Who could forget the afternoons if the branches of the orange trees were unforgettable? Each word holds a sweat of this infinite backyard. The fruit bowl on the kitchen table is blood on the floor. My fate walled itself in and the fate is forever. My hands stretched out, stretched out are crossed by light which shows the dust dancing in the air. I tell the silver word in the drawer so many things. Voices arrive which never departed. Faces arrive that I dream up when I wake up suddenly in tears. Now you are the man of the house, they said, and there was, and there was no longer a house. Mother stays a year like children who still spend hours playing in an imagin imaginary street. Mother innocent and humiliated by the sky and by the stars, by the dogs that bark in the distance, by the women who whitewash walls by the bells which call us, and by the cemetery road. Mother, multiplied life, as though your body were tearing itself to pieces, and your flesh were the earth, and words, and your bones were the branches of the orange trees, and words. Gladly, there are the lights, purity's last eyed out, because faith is poetry, and the pigeons that cross the sky in circles and always return. My sisters saw thoughts in the absolute darkness of the mornings. This is the present day, this is the present hour. Now, in this moment, above this last letter, the weight of your hair rests. Our dreams come in through the window and stretch out on the floor. They come from sky. They draw our shadows right next to our old and useless bodies. We take a bath. The water, the water, our dreams dissolve slowly where we, forgot, where we forget them. I am in the house where memories sit in chairs to eat dinner of invisible plates. That painting is pretty. That vase was bought at the October Fair. That book contains words that mean nothing. There is a fruit bowl in the, in the table where Mother daily serves up my faith. There is a hallway which daily recalls its crowded solitude. There is paper and poetry. There is all that I leave unspoken, that, uh, that I don't know how to talk about, that is in my writing, that is arrayed in the leaves of so many autumns of this abandoned backyard. There is a table, a unlit fireplace, hands, a low grave in the cemetery, eyes, bones, my skin and the hours written out in the impossible future. <laughs>